So uh, before we dive into the, the meat and potatoes of the technology here, I want to bring up another, another metaphor that I'm particularly fond of. Think of your business as a strawberry field. Um, so here you can see one strawberry in a field of many and each strawberry represents a person. Now, with the marketing and follow-up that many people have in place today, they get an awful lot of these moldy strawberries, AKA missed opportunities. If, if you own a strawberry field, you're in the business of selling strawberries. Uh, you can't sell moldy strawberries. If you're in the business of real estate, you're in the business of selling homes. If someone has bought or sold with somebody else, you cannot help them buy or sell. So let me ask you, how many moldy strawberries do you think you have uh, versus how many fruitful strawberries, ripe strawberries that are ready to be sold? Five, uh, do you have 5%, 10% of your database? Do you know? Do you believe that you could know? And here's the reality that so many people deal with. They think that of their database, of their leads, et cetera, there is a small sliver that are good leads and this big massive percentage that are considered otherwise bad leads, right? This is, um, the, the industry is, is full of this thought um, when in reality, this is really what your database looks like. Um, this is really what a strawberry field looks like. There's a higher percentage of people who are ready to buy than you realize. There's a higher percentage of people who could be ready, but maybe there's something that's holding them back, um, whether it's finances or, or, or lot other life events. And there's people who are not ready today people who are going to be shopping for a little while longer. Then of course, there's the percentage of your database that will just never buy and that will be what it will be. And there's uh, no getting away from that and that's okay. Why is that? Why do so many agents deal with this when we know it's this? And it's because of um, the inability to reach out to people, uh, the, the proper, uh, to reach out to a large number of people, a large number of times, as you can see here, the number of meaningful interactions that people have is incredibly low, right? Number of calls, number of meaningful interactions, and that results in a small number of deals that close, right? I remember, talking with a client one time about how they were just having no success, right? I'm, I'm calling the lead. I, I called the leads. I called a hundred lead, a hundred leads once and none of them bought from me or one of them bought from me. I got lucky. That's what they say. That's what, that's what the clients say. I got lucky. I got one. When in reality, we know that luck has very little to do with this. But, but sales statistics after sales statistics show the number of meaningful interactions you're able to make, the more number of clients you're able to obtain, right? That's really the trick here is client acquisition. Uh, the reality is so few have the technology implemented in their business that they need to make these meaningful interactions um, that they get a database full of this rather than this. So speaking of the ill-equipped strawberry farmer is trying to water his strawberry with a watering pail. And that's why so many strawberries die on the vine because they are uh, being watered with a watering pail much like many realtors are following up and using technology in their business uh, that is more uh, equivalent to a watering pail. And that will get you a small basket of, of, of strawberries that will close 
you know, a, a small amount of business for you. And as an individual who's just trying to get by, maybe that's enough. But if you're trying to build a real estate business, a strawberry empire, what you need is this, an industrial sized sprinkling system that's going to work whether you are or not. It's going to work regardless of what you're doing. And it's going to be able to properly nurture all the strawberries in your field. And it will give you this, a large strawberry business. So what are the takeaways here? It's important to know what's in your field. Don't let your uh, profits drop. Be able to nurture. But you're only able to do this when you are leveraging effectively.